This is Cybert signing in to Red Alert 3 on the map Pyroclasm for a three-player FFA involving the Cyan Soviets in the north, Dimon. And the yellow allies on the left side, this is Vindy's. And on the right side, as the purple empire, this is Das Dulan. One of my favorite empire players of all time. Such a, such a great guy to uh, to chat with and a uh, fun guy to watch play, but Vindy's also happens to be, you know, like probably top three allied players of all time, just for me personally. I'm not saying he's like the best allied players of all time, but, uh, you know. And then Dimon, definitely one of my top Soviet players as well. To be honest, I've talked to Dimon a whole lot less than I've talked to Vindy's and Das Dulan over the years, so I know a lot less about Dimon than about the other two guys. But this is from the Grinder League Season 3. I believe this was 2017. And for those of you who don't know, the Grinder League was a little uh, kind of custom league. Uh, the, the format of it was based around, it was themed around like a mafia system. And so we had, uh, by the way, Fast Riptide coming out for Vindy's. So there was a uh, there was a basically a ladder like you would see in any you know one v one kind of situation, except everything was arranged matches and uh, if you made it all the way to the top you were the boss and then I think top next to the top was the consulary, and uh, after that was the no it was like the boss the underboss and the consulary something like that I don't know it was all themed around like mafia movies and uh, Rage of Heat ended up sending it up and uh, he and I. Ran it uh, the first season or season, maybe two seasons, and then Rage of Heat, I guess, ran a third season, which I didn't even realize because I was absentee at that time. But it looks like Demon going to be going for a third refinery in the north. Now, one of the things that you could do in the Grinder League is if you were either in second or third place, you could, you know, like activate your trap card or whatever, which is to call a three player FFA to try and take the top spot. So this is not like a tournament, but this is a, you know, for some prize money kind of kind of thing. Airfield out here for Vindy's. He's going to be harassed a little bit here from Das Dulon, who's going to be sending in a couple of Tangus to go for the kill on that Prospector. You're going to be able to get the kill on the Prospector without losing too, too many harvest or too, too many Tangus as one does go down there. And this Apollo may get ganged up on by these three other Tangus. But in this particular case, no, nope, no one, no one has to die. The, the Javelin Troopers pop out to try and defend the Apollo. One Tangu did try and move a little bit closer to the Apollo to get inside of its minimum attack range to stop it from dying. So good moves there by Das Dulon. But it ended up, everyone just kind of made the right choices. And I guess that dog didn't make the right choice. But you can't run away from a Transformer as it guns you down if you're just a dog. Now, Damon on the other side. In the north, he has just been able to crank away. He's got a fourth refinery up and running. He's got his lovely oil derrick going. And, uh, you know, he sent out a couple of scouting guys. But for right now, Das Dulan and Vindy's are actually going to be killing each other, which means Demon will be sitting on a huge amount of eco comparatively. And he will have not lost anything to these fights. It looks like the Tangus with the Honorable Discharge are going to be able to kill the Javelin Troopers and the Riptide eliminate everything there from Vindy's. So Vindy's in a rough in a rough position losing all of his ground forces there. He doesn't have the Naval Yard anymore. He ended up selling that off after he got the, the Riptides and the uh... <laughs> The Riptide and the Javelin Troopers there. So he's down to just the airfield, but of course he's he's got that third refinery up and running. Going to defend it with just a single multi-gunner turret. MCV on the move for Demon, and I don't know if he's looking to capture and then start pressuring, but he could be going for that refinery and then trying to... Uh, trying to hit Vindy's after that. Bullfrog is going to be chasing these Tangus away while one of them in the south does have a Terror Drone inside of it. It looks like the Imperial Warrior able to get the kill on that Tangu. Well, no, on the Terror Drone inside of the Tangu after it gets the kill. So up and running. Vindy's is going to have to deal with Demon in just a second. And like I said earlier, none of these players wants to be the one to get eliminated first or to be the one who uh, has to, you know, barely survives 
getting killed only to just have some guy like Damon uh, kill them really easily because he's been powering up to four or five refineries. And his MCV, I don't know what he's doing. I thought he had a different kind of a plan going on here, but it seems like he's kind of getting disrupted a little bit here. Tesla Coil going to be keeping that refinery safe, but this MCV is taking a ton of damage. Uh, he does have a crane back here, so this is not over. This is not the end of all things, but this Tesla Coil is going to be going down. He's trying to body block with Barracks, and that is kind of going to be working, but this multi-gunner turret is inside of the radius, and it looks like these Tesla Coils may not actually finish before the MCV goes down, so one Tesla Coil cancelled, and the build radius is denied as well. This Barracks is also going to go down, and the Bears do get out. They will be able to get a couple of kills here, but this Tesla Coil is all that remains of this attack, and Damon ended up trading out his MCV for that, so... We'll have to see how much damage he gets with the Tesla Coil. The answer is none. It fired off not even once. I thought it was going to get one blast out, but uh, no. Uh, so, so this took a weird turn as uh, as Demon, he's he's in an okay position. Don't get me wrong, but uh, he was he was trying to make something happen there. He's dropping an airfield back at home. Again, he's got, well, he's got a flak tower and a, a flak cannon, rather, and a Tesla tower there, so. He's, he's doing okay. Bullfrogs and some, uh, and a terror drone going to be going out for a little bit of harvester hunting or something. And for now, they will just pull back and escape, so. Not a big deal there. For now, the Apollo is going to be trying to engage way too many Tangus, and they are going to have to force. They are going to be forced to run away. One of them does go down as the Tangus split off to the south. Das, das Dulon doesn't want to engage over top of those Javelin troopers and multi-gunner turrets if he doesn't have to. Hammer tanks heading south. This Imperial warrior will get run over, but that is the early warning system for Das Dulon and. Uh, this refinery, I assume it's not in range of the leech beam, but it may be in range of a heroic leech beam if a harv or if a hammer tank ends up going that high. So these refinery replacements, like uh, like on Fire Island, kind of out on the water, they can be definitely troublesome. It looks like a shinobi got the infect of that ore refinery while in the north. Vindicator's going for a bombing run, going to be getting turned around before they actually do anything there. And uh, Aura Finery going down for Dimon, so he has got that up and running for now. The Flak Cannon also going to be coming up here for a little bit of def defense, so the Hammer Tanks can just hang out. And I assume, no, he actually did rebuild his MCB. I was like, I don't know if he's just doing that off of the crane and he's just going to be living off that crane forever. But no, he rebuilt the MCB, so that's a big cash advance that he had to go for there. And five grand to get your, your MCV back up and running. Oil there potentially under threat as these Tangus are looking for a place to attack. They're going to be going for the flat cannon, and it looks like one Chopper VX does end up going down. Very low on health there and ends up dying, but this Battle Lab is also under threat as uh, Demon, he's turned around absolutely everything. The Bullfrogs are here to get the kill on the Chopper VX. is nice and easy. The Crusher Crane goes down to half health, and this Flak Cannon is the only thing these Tangus have been killing, but now they're about to get shredded by these Hammer Tanks, three Hammer Tanks and a Twin Blade in the skies, although now they're going to be able to escape, and the Bullfrogs get an extra Tangu. So that attack, I think he saw an opportune moment, and he thought the opportunity was actually going to be bigger than it really was. There's a nice bomb split by Vindy's, just using the one to break that harvester while out on the water. His ore refinery is getting hammered by these Yari mini subs, and that ore refinery with the multi-gunner on the wrong side, as it turns out, Twin Blades going to be able to smoke this refinery. It's going to take a while for them to actually break it down, but they will get there eventually. Vindicator is going to be coming in for a bombing run, going to be able to eliminate one of the Yari mini subs, and the other one will get eliminated, it looks like, by that multi gunner turret before. There we go. Finally, it ends up going down there. So I guess all of the. Uh, no, the third Yari mini sub did sneak away very, very quickly. So uh, Vindy's taking a little bit of damage there, but he has got those four refineries up and running once again, so he's not on too bad of economy. And actually, he got the command hub as well, so he can re expand there in the south he is not too worried about that if the opportunity presents itself he'll be up to those five refineries das dulon putting the pressure on demon in the north going to be forcing more base defenses but that static d is all is valuable for a long time in the game especially flak cannons they are really they're they're pretty darn good at killing stuff in the sky and of course demon would probably rather be spending that on actual units but in this particular case He's going to take the flak cannon, and for now, the harvester will escape. 
One Harvester, it looks like, ended up going down there, but for now, Damon has defeated the harassment. Naval Yard going down out on the water. Wow. Trading out Tangus left, right, and center. These Tangus just not having a good day between Apollos, Multigunner turrets, Flak Cannons, and Bullfrogs. They are just taking a lot of damage. There's a Transform, but not before two Tangus do go down to those Apollos. Refinery under threat as Vindy's is going to have to deal with artillery from Demon, And uh, gets the shrink on that V4, but for now... Demon not going to be pressing forward too much further. He's built himself up into a strong position. So Demon, you know, I feel like Demon has uh, has done the last the least fighting, but he is definitely in the last couple of minutes still had to fight for himself. And he's been on those five refineries, or well, at least four refineries, longer than everyone else, and five refineries for a while now as well. As uh, just the four refineries for Das Dulon. He hasn't had as much luck actually getting the fifth up and running. The Black Hole armor from on that Assault Destroyer actually going to be able to protect that Prospector. And for now, the Prospector does go down. The Ore Refinery does survive. And it looks like uh, Twin Blade did go down as well. The V4 still is here and a second one is joining it. So a couple of rockets could end that Ore Refinery for good. And hopefully it's before that uh, Harvester actually pops out because otherwise... Bindies will have spent that cash for nothing. But in this particular case, the Assault Destroyer does clean up those Tangus. No more multi-gunner turret here for Vindy's. He does have that refinery back up and, well, not operational, but operational very soon. So he's going to be sitting on those four refineries. I'm surprised the oil derricks have survived this late into the game. Everyone is still up and running. And that fourth refinery up and running for Das Dulon. It's been there for a little while. But, uh, of course, he did end up losing it a little bit earlier on. Ooh, that angle means it's not V4s. It's actually going to be the Dreadnought wasting that refinery. So, Demon starting to push in from two different angles. And as soon as one player has triggered the artillery card, everyone has to be worried about it. Because if you don't already have your own Tier 3, you are going to be at a disadvantage. And you've got to start cooking up some ways to even things up. He saves the oil derrick there with that assault destroyer. I don't actually know if he meant to do that, really. But the cryocopters, they're going to be the defense here. They're going to be rushing and going for the flak cannons, I assume, to try and lock those down. And then they can get to work on the dreadnoughts. But for now, this entire refinery expansion base is going to be getting shut down. If only that assault destroyer could do anything about it. In this case, no, it's the vindicators that are going to get the kills. And that assault destroyer does go down. The Apollo is going to be showing up here for the twin blades. But the bullfrogs are here for the defense. Everything went down except for the Tesla coil that was frozen there. Which means that's a pretty good attack <laughs> for... Uh, for Vindy's, but in this case, Demon is the one who's going to be able to get the kill on that uh, on that Sea Wing. Get himself a couple of Sea Wings, trying to do what he can. He didn't get the Harvester, which is what he would have wanted. But this expansion going back up, another flak cannon has been constructed. So that was a lot of cash down the drain. Oh my goodness, a Eureka Omega out on the field. Not very often do we see Eureka actually in a game, but we also have aircraft carriers. So. Vindy's. Everyone is up to those uh, to that lovely tier three artillery, and unfortunately for Demon, he walked right into that. No defense for these wave force artilleries. One of them does get EMP. The other one already down and dead. The snipe from Natasha going to be leaving that Shogun battleship vulnerable. It looks like the snipe from all the way over there, as I guess Tanya is the only commando we haven't actually seen, as Vindy's is fighting on two fronts, and Demon is as well. The only one who's not right now is Das Dulon, since he had to pull back from over here, which I guess means also Vindy's isn't fighting on two fronts, but he was momentarily. EMP, will it actually hit the... Yes, it does get the Dreadnought, as well as all of the base defenses, but with only one aircraft carrier, it's not actually going to be able to break anything down at the current moment. This Assault Destroyer not actually able to make anything happen there. And these satellites are going to be raining down on that aircraft carrier. The Akula Sub is here to finish off the aircraft carrier. We'll be able to get the kill very nicely there. There's the infect of the Assault Destroyer. And I don't know how far away it actually is from that naval yard, but it looks like this Akula Sub and the Dreadnought are going to be able to finish it off. So the Terror Drone does go down as well, but that is okay in this situation. 
Oiled Eric gets eliminated, but the Oiled Eric for Das Dulon does stand. The only one left. The other two guys have both been lost as Shogun battleships littering this map, which actually I think there's a Commander's Challenge where there are a bunch of empty shells of units around this same map, and you have to you have to capture them. That's a little bit what this is starting to look like. As I assume, uh, maybe some engineers going to be produced to recap those Shogun battleships. Although, Shinobis can swim. Can the Shinobis actually capture units like that? I've never actually tried. As a big crowd getting going to be firing off, and it looks like this refinery will live to fight another day. No, a second volley of rockets do come in here, and the shrink is going to be good enough. The freeze is going to be good enough, and that is a dreadnought, a refinery, a flat cannon, all going down to the cryo madness of Vindy's, but these bullfrogs are going to be pushing away these cryocopters, going to be forcing the shrink of his own unit get, to get that assault destroyer out of there. Shogun battleships continuing to pressure Demon, but uh, Natasha so far has been pretty much the only defense that he needs. She's back here. She's going up for probably another snipe. Going to be able to eliminate one of these Shogun battleships, but hopefully for, uh, for Das Dulan, he's got a couple of other guys hanging around ready to cap those, those units. And Das Dulan, if he gets pressured by both Bindi's and, and uh, Das, I'm saying the wrong name, but Demon is getting pressured by both Bindi's and Das Dulan. In this particular case, he's able to handle the pressure from Bindi's very easily, at least on land. We'll have to see how the aircraft carrier is doing for now. It is doing great. Two aircraft carriers getting the kill on this refinery, getting the kill on this expansion, and there's nothing Demon can do about it at the current moment. If cryocopters are here, the Sakula sub won't be able to eliminate both of these aircraft carriers, and that is, of course, always going to be the trouble is uh, when you've got the two versus just the one Akula sub, you can't kill the aircraft carriers fast enough. Shogun battleships pulling out further into the water, a little bit farther away from the land, going to make a Natasha that much harder to be effective that far out. And aircraft carriers starting to pressure Das Dulon as well, who thought he could just attack Demon nice and easy, but Naganatana's now on the front line, going to be able to deal with this aircraft carrier, and this many Naganatana's will not be stopped by simple means. You're going to need a lot more Navy power to be able to stop that much firepower from Das Dulon. Yeah, you got the EMP and it gets, well, actually it gets four of them. I thought it was just going to get uh, none of them for a second there, but the cryocopters get the other guys. So actually this attack is locked down for the current moment and this multi-gunner turret and the hydrofoil may be enough to push this attack back. No, the cryocopters didn't stay. They didn't actually get a freeze and a kill. I thought at least one of those guys would end up going down. But no, the aircraft carrier now directly under threat as these Naganatanas push forward while on land. Tank Buster's getting shot after shot, and the Tangus in the sky not transforming. A little bit of a slip up there by Das Dulon, losing all of those Tangus for nothing. And instead, this aircraft carrier goes down for now. The Naganatanas could be pulling back and just letting bygones be bygones. In this case, they're going to be going for the kill on the naval yard, trying to shut that down. In the north, it looks like another Shogun did get sniped, but Natasha may also find herself sniped by those uh, by those sea wings if they ever get into the sky to start hunting her down. Assault Destroyer going to be pushing forward, and uh, one more refinery does go down there. One Naganatana going to be going down, but I'm okay with that trade. I think is what Das Dulon is thinking, considering how much value he got from them. The aircraft carrier, he killed the naval yard, the refinery, that whole section of the map wiped out by those units. Rocket Angels, not something you see very often. You need maybe one more Twin Blade to really finish this off, and yes, that will be enough. Two Twin Blades almost going down, but it did survive because the third one showed up, and those Bullfrogs keeping the Rocket Angels away, and for now, they will be forced to pull back. Ooh, that is a heroic Shogun battleship doing nothing off the coast. Dimon has stabilized. Vindy's forced to pull back, forced to deal with... Well, he was forced to deal with uh, with Das Dulon, but I'm not actually sure what stopped him from, uh, from continuing to attack up in the north. Assault Destroyer there, Assault Destroyer there, and the aircraft carrier in the middle continuing to make rom bombing runs on this war refinery. Rocket Angels going to be flying back home. V4s going to be taking shots at this water expansion. Able to deal with it very nicely. Ooh, double infect of Sea Wings, those Sky Wings. Um, 
I'm not sure what the point of the transform was there. Potentially, just just to try and go for uh, go for like you know killing your enemies with your dead bodies kind of a thing. I'm really curious where this vacuum imploder is going to be firing off at. For now, the snipe of the aircraft carrier is good enough to stop this harassment or this assault from going forward. And now Das Dulon being pressured by Vindy's in two different, uh, well, not in two different locations, but Vindy's pressuring two different players at once with his aircraft carriers. And unfortunately for Das Dulon, he does not have a nice snipe available to take down that aircraft carrier that easily. Instead, the Harvester will go down. EMP locks down the... the uh, Locks down the Shogun battleships, but not the Naginatana and not the Rocket Angels as they go for the kill on the refinery. They get that once they power up. Rocket Angels are so powerful in the swarm. This command hub also may get sniped by that lockdown. And uh, goodbye aircraft carrier as the vacuum imploder ready to fire off somewhere. Not sure where he's necessarily going to be using it. Apollo decides it's a good day to die. That was uh, not not the best move that you can make as one lone Apollo trying to engage all of those rocket angels. Aircraft carrier over here on the left going to be firing off against this dreadnought, and there is going to be... Huh, I never thought about that, but actually using your, your speed ability on the dreadnought, which normally does damage to the dreadnought, but you also iron curtain it, which... I guess it's probably a pretty obvious thing now that I say it out loud, but that's a great move by Dimon. It's going to allow him to do a huge amount of damage to the Chronosphere, and actually not enough damage, so the Chronosphere will actually still stand, but no, he's going to be calling down satellites on top of it, and I mean, if he really wanted to, he could also vacuum implode it, but that would uh, probably be a little bit unnecessary. Satellite going to be raining down on top of basically nothing here, as uh, that is the loneliest peacekeeper in the world. One power plant does go down, two others pretty heavily wounded, and that is all he really wanted to do. You gotta stop that Chronosphere, you gotta stop Vindy's from getting value with Chronosphere. I mean, I made a whole video about that of, uh, in one particular event, how much value Vindy's got from his Chronosphere. He did a ton of damage with it. It looks like Natasha will go down. So a little bit unfortunate there. And these Rocket Angels have been doing so much damage over here. They're going to be able to claim the War Factory. So that's an easy kill for them. And he may end up trading them out against the Bullfrog. So he gets one Bullfrog. The second Bullfrog doesn't actually go down. So uh, goodbye, Demon, that he was able to save that. And I assume he's got the cash to, uh, to rebuild that without too much trouble. Although this expansion continues to be pressured. That is a Shogun battleship under... Dimon's control as he has nabbed that from Das Dulon. Das Dulon, who's gone a little bit quiet in the last couple of minutes of this game. Oh, poor Vindy's with that harvester bug not getting him to work. And uh, Shogun Battleship will go down to the Assault Destroyer with the help of those Vindicators as well. Twin Blades going to be making a run at this Assault Destroyer, trading out unit for unit. These guys always trying to get the best end of the engagement, but sometimes it just goes back and forth, back and forth. Bullfrogs take a snipe at those cryocopters, but the V4s all go down. Vacuum imploder hasn't fired off yet, but the Iron Curtain is almost ready as well, and Demon giving away those MiGs. Oh! I guess one of them will survive, at least for the current moment. Natasha getting some great snipes there on the lined-up infantry. She's uh, trying to get the kill on another one of those javelin troopers. And actually, this is a pretty good little grouping of units to vacuum implode if you're going to hit something and go for, like, value of total units. It solves a problem, but it also kills a big chunk of Das Dulon's army. Or for now... Gonna, they're going to take shots at Natasha, and Natasha gets the snipe. One Shogun does go down. The transform of the Tangus gets the kill on Natasha. The heroic Tangu does end up going down, and the heroic hammer tank may also be eliminated by these Shogun battleships as soon as they reload, and uh, that terror drone is going to be very dangerous to try and guard against. Bullfrog's going to be coming in to guard the Twin Blades. There's the Vacuum Imploder firing off. Going to nail everything in there. That is hilarious how far those Tangus get ejected out of that Vacuum Imploder. 
I've never seen units get ejected like that from the vacuum imploder, or maybe I have and I just forgot about seeing it. Iron Curtain also ready to go, so you gotta be careful with your big infantry groupings. I know Vindy's has in the past had a big block of infantry all hanging out together, shrunk down MCV, gonna be going for, I don't know, maybe just a runaway from an expansion or something, as Vindy's now gonna be turning back to Das Dulon, who, I guess Das, uh, ooh, buddy. Vindy's is gonna see a very easy target in the middle of the map, and uh, real quick, 15,000, and I assume depleted, depleted, ah, 3,000, so yeah, basically three depleted refineries for, I assume, all of these players are going to be pretty much in the same boat, and there's a lovely Iron Curtain on one hammer tank, a second hammer tank catches it as well as all of those infantry, they get eliminated, and uh, that ore refinery well, this hammer... I'm not sure what this hammer tank's real plan is. I mean, he doesn't do that much damage. He got the kill on all of the infantry, but that hammer tank may actually get crushed. No, it does get frozen and crushed. Going to be handing away that veterancy to the assault destroyer as the other hammer tank manages to escape. The refinery does go down in this other refinery. I assume it will go down. It's, it's in such a difficult position to defend. But, uh... Like with his aircraft carrier? I assume it's just gonna... I guess not. No fresh expansion over here. Ten grand left in that refinery, which means Demon's got the other 21,000 from it. Black Cannon gets frozen. Vindicators do take it down. A Tesla coil as well. And is this just a single MiG? The answer is yes, but one MiG is enough to push this attack back for now. Gets the kill on... The uh, cryocopter, the Apollos get the kill on the MiG, but I think you're going to be happy with that exchange. Demon, three and a half minutes before that vacuum imploder is up and running again. More rocket angels. I'm not sure what he's planning to do with five rocket angels. I mean, you can do damage over time, but like, you're not going to be able to do that much unless he kill gets him, he knocks him into a low power mode. Uh, you could do some damage if you knock him into a low power mode, but... Poonblade's gonna be going for the kill on that Harvester. I'm guessing they don't want to overstay their welcome in case there's a big Tangu swarm. And then they're, you know, unable to escape. But in this case, there actually aren't very many Tangus for Das Dulon. He's actually gonna be focusing on trying to kill that Vacuum Imploder. He's gonna trade out a couple of Rocket Angels for it. And uh, to do that kind of smash and grab, you probably need two or three times as many Rocket Angels. Although he did get vision of it, and he did get it down a little bit in HP. And of course, I don't know if these guys were uh, were looking, but the EMP hits those Bullfrogs, doesn't actually do a whole lot to them. Oh. Okay, so it was just the level one final squadron, so that did basically nothing to that, uh, to that vacuum imploder, it really, it really didn't do very much. Although this expansion currently is a little bit vulnerable to air, you could definitely get the, the reactor, and then once this flat cannon finishes, you won't be able to take that down immediately. Now, in this particular case, I believe Demon is the boss, so he is the big bad that these other two guys are trying to knock down. So there definitely could be some conspiratorial chatting going on if Vindy's and Das Dulon do decide to hang out together. Oh my gosh, he was sending an engineer to cap something in the south. That is great from Vindy's as uh, trying to do everything he can. This one flak cannon won't stand against the aircraft carrier. And for now, the naval yard also does go down. Vindy's has been trying to break this expansion for basically the entirety of this game. And uh, he has only just now been able to actually do that. And the Tesla coil falls. The cryocopters get the freeze on that ore collector. They get the shrink on the chopper VXs, or on the striker VXs, if you will. And uh, even if they get the kill on this cryocopter, it's possible the cryocopter will actually kill the harvester as it falls to its death. There's the Emperor's Rage going to be firing off, but 
the shrink reducing the damage that those chopper reacts do. And actually, Das Dulan has been defeated, so he counts himself out of this game, which means it's down to an AVS between rocked up tier three armies. And uh, not a lot of tier three on the ground from Das Dulan, although whoever is able to expand over here to the right side of the map will find a couple of depleted ore mines. And, uh, well, you know, one fresh ore mine over here with 15,000 credits in it, so 13,000 in profit for you if you're the lucky person to take that over. Vindy's getting chased backwards, and uh, Natasha going to be calling in the MiG strike on this aircraft carrier. Gets the nice kill on that. Vindy's going to be pushing forward. Infantry being supported by this assault destroyer and uh not sure exactly what he's planning to do does he think he can break Dimon's entire force with just this little bit but he might be able to get the kill on a couple of these twin blades here if they step too far forward and one of them does that's the power of the assault destroyer but in this particular case the crushes are not absorbed by the assault destroyer although i guess they are because that assault destroyer saved all of those guys from actually dying Big Cryo Geddon going to be firing off, locking down that vacuum imploder from actually being utilized. And Vindy's is going for the throat. He's actually going to be able to do a serious amount of damage because Natasha's shots are being absorbed by that air, by that assault destroyer and is actually doing a hilariously small amount of damage. Is it doing no damage to the assault destroyer? Does Natasha's base attack do nothing to an assault destroyer? There it's back up and running. This has been way more effective than I ever thought it could be. As they're just barely on the edge there. That's crazy how effective that was. I assume Natasha's shot would do like a, a teensy bit of damage to vehicles, but I guess I guess it just doesn't do anything. Prospector will get killed by that terror drone, and one aircraft carrier under the control of Captain Dimon is going to be heading south. It gets shrunk down. It may get frozen as well. No, the Vindicators deal with it without too much trouble. And I cannot believe how much that, uh, that combo infantry and assault destroyer ended up doing. Proton Collider here in the south. Prospector getting pulled off the line. He can go back to work now. Refinery up and running. 10, 11 grand left in that one. 1,500 there. So these expansions are pretty much all dried up. And it looks like an aircraft carrier heading along the south side of the map. Potentially going to be squashing this expansion on the right side of the map for Demon. And it looks like the, uh, the extra value upgrade. I forget what that's actually called. But, uh, the support power there. Vacuum Floater fires off directly on top of the Proton Collider in combination with some satellites to try and get the kill on the Proton Collider. Will he do it? The answer is yes. Gets a little cash back as well. He gets himself an airfield. He gets himself a uh, Tier 3. He gets himself a... Whatever that's called, Battle Lab for the Allies is, I think, the official name. That's what it says in the game. You look at the tech tree, that's what it says, I promise. Apollo does end up getting sniped, and it looks like those uh, bull... <laughs> oh my gosh! Huh. I've never seen that before, that Terradrone. Getting the Terradrone surprise spawn out of a bullfrog, and... I don't think Demon can get that guy off of there. That's amazing, though. This game yielding some things I truly have never seen. Twin Blades killing aircraft carriers. I have seen that in the past. Surprise, surprise. As this aircraft carrier is not going to survive very much longer. It gets sniped there. And uh, over on the left side, aircraft carrier is doing some damage. I love this drone so much. It's so funny that he just sits there. That he's just on the side of a mountain and he's like, this is my life now. Welp, what are you gonna do? We all have our lot in life. Mine is to be on the side of a mountain. Natasha gonna be hopping in the water and uh, going for the snipe on something. Going for the snipe on the uh, on the aircraft carrier, the assault destroyer. I, when Natasha flipped out of the water, I thought the Vindicator had killed her, and I was like, oh, that's a new death animation. I don't remember seeing that, where she does the flip like that. But uh, no, 
Natasha, bombs don't bother her at all. Gina Carano going to be uh, kicking the bombs back at the Vindicators pretty darn soon there. Which, uh, speaking of Gina Carano, it was great to see her in The Mandalorian. Just a quick sidebar to The Mandalorian. If you haven't seen it, Gina Carano plays uh, Natasha in the cutscenes of Red Alert 3. Uh, does play some shock trooper or something? I don't know. In The Mandalorian. And, uh, you know, it was fun to see her there because it was like, she looks familiar. Who is that? And then, you know, ten minutes later, you're like, oh, oh it's Gina Carano. Oh, okay, she was in the thing. Yeah. It was, it was much less exciting in real life than I just made it sound. Which, it didn't even sound exciting in the story, so you can imagine. Actually, those of you who have seen The Mandalorian, you don't have to imagine. You already know. Demon going to be expanding to the old base of Das Dulon. And I mean, Vindy's is trying to do the same thing, but a little bit slower. He's only got those two refineries, and one of them isn't even working. Big cryo Geddon fires off, but M Natasha says, uh, laser from space, who cares? And uh, she says, actually, just kidding, I care. I don't want to get fried from a laser from space. Aircraft carrier has been reclaimed by Vindy's. He's starting to put the pressure on the main base of, da of Dimon. Das Dimon once again. Chronosphere going to be firing off one last time, potentially. As uh, six, five seconds left. And actually, he could try and use it to kill Natasha. Uh, I don't know if he's actually going to be doing that, but, you know. Natasha's been super annoying, and if you could get a nice quick kill on her, then maybe you should go for it. And also, you'd kill a double vet Natasha, which would then force him to reset to just a regular Natasha, which is slightly less annoying, albeit still pretty annoying. And uh, for now, Vindy's, he's got his infantry all nice and lined up. He's got a Mirage tank pretending to be a rock as well. As uh, two infantry do go down, but not a third, and that is a heroic Natasha. Surely heroic Natasha is worthy of wasting, you know, using your entire... Ooh, a couple of bullfrogs going down there. A little bit of a mistake there by Demon, stepping a little bit too far forward. But uh, ho surely a heroic Natasha is worth burning the Chronosphere on. Insta kills infantry. It's super fun. I promise, it is fun. Super reactor going to be going down as well as the crane in this tier three ground army for Vindy's doesn't have much of an answer from Demon. He's just going to have to deal with this army, and uh, his answer is, I guess I'll let it kill my base. I got another base down south, which isn't as good as this base, but I do like it quite a bit. Aegis Shield pops to try and defend those Athena cannons, but it's not quite enough. The Super Reactor taking all of this stuff online. A minute left on that Vacuum Imploder, and even these Javelin Troopers putting a little bit of DPS on it as Kirovs are going for the kill on these Mirage Tanks, and it looks like they will get the Mirage Tanks, but will they get the Mirage Tanks before the Mirage Tanks get the Iron Curtain? The answer is yes, the Iron Curtain still stands. MiGs coming in to clear out the Apollos, and that's one thing about Kirovs. They are not fast, but when they get there, they will kill everything, even Peacekeepers. Although for now, Twin Blades could be brought in to, to potentially clean up these Javelin Troopers and stop the Javelin Troopers from actually killing the Kirovs. But in this case, Demon cleaned up that entire army with just the Kirovs, and a couple, I guess, may have, uh, may have gotten shot up by those Twin Blades. Ooh, that Iron Curtain almost going down. The power is back online. The power of the Southern Expansion with the misplaced Orc Refinery. <laughs> It's great that he had to place it there. I mean, long distance mining, a, a depleted mine is not a big deal, all things considered. One Kirov going to go down, and a second one is super, super low, but Multigunner Turret will get sniped, not before killing one Kirov, and now there just isn't much defense here. Even Vindy's precious aircraft carrier can't do much against a Kirov. Well, I mean, technically it can do nothing against a Kirov, but hope and pray. The MCV going to be under threat as the Kirov goes for the refinery instead of trying to chase that MCV. The Kirov, it does go down, handing away its veterancy to that Apollo and then to the MiG. Heroic stars going all around the map. The engineer gets eliminated there. 
And then the MCV escapes out onto the water. The Tier 3 still active as a Riptide harasses this Ore Collector on the right side of the map. Vindy's trying to cut off the economy of Demon, which at this point the economy is pretty darn weak for everybody. Barracks needs to be shut down and quarantined itself, needs to be uh, kept under wraps, and they're definitely under a strict lockdown order. In this case, if you even open the door, you also die, and it's not even like you find from the government, you just straight up die as uh, that many toxins out in the open. This Assault Destroyer sneaking its way onto land, going to be trying to go for the kill on the Iron Curtain. The last of the Soviet high-tech structures could be going down here as Demon has nothing to defend it. And the Assault Destroyer gets the kill, could try to go to work on that airfield. Uh, Twin Blades not around to get the saving move there, and uh, this Assault Destroyer, he's just going to go for the crush on this Harvester. No, he's not going for the crush, he's going for the kill with his regular old boring gun. Who wants to shoot things when you can run them over? That's way more fun. Aircraft carrier going for the long-range assault of this new base. This is where the War Factory is. Interestingly enough, this is where the economy of Demon is, considering that his harvester in the north is dead. His other refinery was eliminated, and uh, he's just kind of hanging out in the north. He's got that airfield, but not a whole lot else going on up there. And these two guys, they've beaten each other within an inch of their lives. And it's just down to the last few units. There's the Chronosphere onto the high ground, onto the mountains as the MCV gets insta-sniped there. A great move by Vindy's. Our terror drone friend left the mountains some time ago. And Vindy's, he doesn't have a lot of units, but I think with the aircraft carrier... No, the aircraft carrier got infected by a terror drone, so it's also not safe. Is there even anything close enough to save it? Yeah, there's an Eliord all the way back here, but I don't know if he could make it back there in time if it turned around right now. Instead, he's going to go for the kill on the War Factory. He can get the War Factory, but he will definitely be sacrificing his life to do that. And unless, I guess, he's producing a dolphin or something, but no, even that I don't think would be there in time. War Factory does go down, and a heroic aircraft carrier will get to cut to pieces from the inside out by this terror drone. Two Twin Blades in the north, also heroic it looks like, as they're going to be heading on back home. They're going to be, I don't know, trying to pull something out of their hat. From under their little aircraft helmet, this super reactor will stay alive as the bombing run of the last aircraft carrier, the last bombing run of that aircraft carrier, does not do anything. And that is a heroic terror drone. Vindicators coming in for a bombing run. No flak troopers on the ground to finish them off. This one ore refinery and this super reactor, nothing else remains for Demon, and that is it. Vindy's manages to pull that one out of his hat. And the man, a couple of key big moves there, like killing everything in that main base with the assault destroyer, because if you don't mop up the base of Demon, then he is going to be able to repower sooner or later. And then keeping alive those aircraft carriers to be able to eliminate the base in the south while the Chronosphere got the MCV as it packed up and tried to escape. Some great moves there by Vindy's and a great FFA on Pyroclasm. So thank you guys all very much for watching. This is Cybert signing out.